The Clyde Beatty Show. The world's greatest wild animal trainer, Clyde Beatty, with an exciting adventure from his brilliant career. The circus means thrills, excitement, snarling jungle beasts. The circus means fun for young folks and old. But under the big top, you see only a part of the story. The real drama comes behind the scenes, where 500 people live as one family, where Clyde Beatty constantly risks death in the most dangerous act on earth. This master of the big cats has journeyed to Africa and India, hunting down his beasts in their native jungle. All of this is part of the Clyde Beatty story. This is a south-of-the-border adventure entitled Contest in Danger. It began in a cafe, the Cafe Caliente, the hot cafe, in a small town on the central plateau of Mexico, where we were touring with our wild animal circus. My wife Harriet and I were crossing the cafe to a side table. Señor, you... un momento. Padroname. A tall man, cropped gray hair, signaled to me. You are the Señor Beatty, the wild animal trainer? Yes, that's right. How do you do? I am Romero, manager of Rodriguez. Felipe Rodriguez. The bullfighter. The same, senor. Yes, I've heard of him. Seen his posters at the bullring where we're setting up our show. Oh, uh, senor Romero, this is my wife, Mrs. Beatty. Mucho gusto, senor. How do you do, senor Romero? The reason, senor, is I interrupt you. Yes? At my table, the young man there is Felipe Rodriguez. You must meet, senor, you and Rodriguez. He, like you, senor Beatty, braves danger and breaks the savage spirit of noble animals. Romero's description applied more to what I knew of bullfighting than to my own act. If I broke the spirits of my lions and tigers, they'd make pretty poor cage performers. But Harriet and I went over to the table and met Rodriguez. He was about 25, spoke good English. I invited him to the evening performance of the circus as my guest. We stand here, Senor Betty. Here by the steel cage, Rodriguez. My wife starts her elephant and tiger act in the cage in just a second. Uh, it is strange to be here in the bullring this way. Well, we often set the show up in bull rings here in Mexico. I have fought many bulls, senor, in this place. Oh, uh, pardon me a second, Rodriguez. See, si, senor. Clyde, Clyde. Something wrong, Harriet? Clyde, the girl we hired in Mexico City to help with the elephant in my act. Conchita Yopis. Yes, Clyde. Conchita has been poisoned. <laughs> We return to Contest in Danger in a moment. Now to continue, it is the first night of the Clyde Beatty Circus in a small town in the ranching region of central Mexico. My wife, Harriet, came to me and told me that a girl named Conchita Yopis, hired by us a short while before in Mexico City to manage the elephant in Harriet's elephant act, had been poisoned. I stepped back to Felipe Rodriguez, the bullfighter, and asked him to wait where he was standing by the big steel performing cage. Then I rejoined Harriet. Oh, it was terrible, Clyde. Conchita Yopis collapsed suddenly, just as we were getting ready to go on with my act. She gasped out something about poison. I could hardly make out her words. And then... Is the doctor with her now? Oh, yes. They've taken her to the first aid tent. Well, then there's nothing we can do. No. No, I suppose not. While we were in Mexico, the Spanish-speaking announcer was replacing our regular big-top announcer, Larkin Goldsmith. As he began the introduction to Harriet's act, I told her I'd handle the elephant for her myself in place of Conchita Yopis. I brought the elephant, Anna Mae, into the cage and trotted her around in a circle. Then Harriet signaled the boys to let the tiger in from the runway. All right, Simba. Up, up, girl. That's the cage. Up on your pedestal. Up now. Up. Harriet cued Primba the tigress into position on her pedestal for the leap through the hoop of fire to the elephant's back. Then she struck a match and ignited the hoop. I trotted Anna Mae, the elephant, around, running beside her. Get me a shirt, will you, honey? There's some clean ones on hangers at the other end of the trailer. Oh, all right, Clyde. Primba sure ripped this shirt to ribbons. Oh, here's your 
a linen one. Thanks. Well, that wasn't so good there for a couple of minutes in the arena. Oh, I thought Anna May would stampede. It's a wonder she didn't. Could you see exactly what happened? Well, I cued Primba through the fire hoop, just as usual. Uh huh. And she made a good landing on Anna May's harder. And then the harder slipped. Yeah. I saw Primba claw into the elephant's back trying to hang on, and she fell and raked me as she went down. Oh, it all happened so quickly. You know, Harriet, I've been wondering, why do you suppose the howdah slipped? I've been thinking about that, too. Especially just now, after the girl who was supposed to handle Anna Maya was poisoned. Yes. Pretty much of a coincidence, huh? <laughs> yes, it is. Well, Harriet, while I'm putting the big cats through their paces, you'd better have the boys leave Anna May's equipment just as it is. I'd like to check those fastenings. Good idea. Oh, and Harriet... That bullfighter I invited here tonight, Rodriguez. Oh. Uh, take him in tow, will you? I forgot about him. All right, Clyde. Oh, Clyde, wait a minute. You can't go on yet. Hmm? Why? Not until you change those riding pants. Oh. They got all dirty when Primba knocked you down. They really look pretty awful, dear. Well, the act went nicely, Clyde. Ah, the big cats seem to be all right now. You know, Rodriguez, my lions and tigers didn't work too well in the high altitude of Mexico City. Oh, it is just the same with El Toro, the fighting bull. If it is bred in the lowland, senor, it does not fight well where the elevation is great. That's so. It is so, senor. Along this way, I want to check the fastenings of that elephant powder. What about Conchita Yopas, Harriet? Anything new? Well, the doctor gave her an antidote. There was poison in her stomach, all right. Huh. But she's recovering fine. Well, that's good, anyway. Here we are. We're stockading the elephants here, Rodriguez, in this enclosure between the back of the stands and the outside bullring wall. In the corrales. Yeah. Where the fighting bull experiences its last moments before the splendid struggle and death. Is that right, Rodriguez? Since I say it, senor. Well, no offense. Of course not. Oh, hand me that elephant hook, Clyde. I'll bring Anna May over. All right, Harry. Here you are. I checked Anna May's howdah. As I'd suspected, the fastenings had been tampered with. It had been no accident when the howdah slipped during Harriet's act. Harriet, Rodriguez, and I went on to the first aid tent, but the doctor said Conchita Yopas would have to rest another hour or so. So we arranged to have her meet us at the Café Caliente at 11. Romero, Rodriguez's bullfight manager, joined us at the café. No, 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 senores. It is, as we have been saying, El Toro Bravo is un animal muy afortunado. The fighting bull is a lucky animal. Well, I, I'm afraid that's not exactly the way I see it, Romero. But, Senor Benny, you too work with the wild animals. Yes, but it's pretty different. Is it, Senor, you whip your animals? Oh, that's not true, Senor Rodriguez. Well, the whip's just a noisemaker. But when you train the lion or tiger, Senor, you burn them with hot irons to force them to do tricks. I have heard of it. You find a burn mark on any of my animals, and I'll give you a thousand pesos, Rodriguez. I'll give you 10,000. Why, no animal trainer would dare go near a lion or tiger. He'd burn with a hot iron. Oh, even so, the bull is more fortunate. He lives a fine life in the open fields, and then he dies splendidly. Oh, if he dies bravely, the public applauds his corpse. Ah, that must make him feel real great. Do not joke, senor. Senor? Oh, Miss Yopis. Here, we've been expecting you. Won't you sit down? Gracias, Senor Bisi. Uh, you know Mrs. Beatty? Oh, si. This is Senor Romero. How do you do, Senor? And the Matador of the Toros, Felipe Rodriguez. Oh, Senor. Senorita. Are you feeling all right now, Miss Yopas? Oh, yes. I am well, gracias. The poisoning must have been fairly mild. Well, the doctor, he said that. Did he mention what poison it was? Oh, no, he did not, Senor Beatty. Well, I can find out from him. Uh, Miss Yopas. Si. Have you any idea how it could have happened? How you could have gotten the poison? Well, I have wondered about that, and I have thought, well, senor, I, I went to the cook tent before the performance, and I had fried beans and black coffee. Could it have been in that? Hmm? When exactly was that? It was 30 or 40 minutes before. Wait a minute. Oh, no, senor. After a few minutes, Rodriguez asked Conchita Yopis to dance. They danced well. They hadn't been together on the floor two minutes before it looked... Yes, it looked like they were old friends. They came back to the table. <laughs> You two have made friends in a hurry. Oh, it is because we are both from the capital. Both from Mexico City. See, si, see. Si. I am down here visiting my bull ranch in the Campo, senor. Is senor Betty. Perhaps you would visit my ranch as my guest and meet the wild animals of true danger, the fighting bulls. I might, Rodriguez? Clyde. Clyde dances me. 
The music's very good. In a minute. I want to make a phone call first. You'll excuse me? Oh, of course. Yeah, of course, Senor. Hotel Principal, por favor. Momentito, senor. Bueno. Esta el Hotel Principal? I speak English, senor. May I help you? <laughs> uh, I want to talk to Dr. D.V. Ames, connected with the Clyde Beatty Circus. If you will wait, senor, I will look in for you. All right. I'll wait. Clyde? Yeah. Yeah, I'm finished with it. Rodriguez? Senor? I'll take you up on your uh, invitation to visit your ranch and meet really dangerous animals. Bueno, senor. Tomorrow morning. Okay. Tomorrow morning. And now, Harriet, if you want that dance. Excuse us, oh, please. Fine. Clyde. Clyde, I know you. Your mind's not on your dancing. I talked to Dr. Ames on the phone. Oh? The poison that made Conchita Yopis sick was potassium cyanide. Potassium cyanide? A trace, not a dangerous amount. And Harriet? Yes, Clyde? Potassium cyanide acts instantaneously. But, but Conchita said you had the beans and coffee 30 or 40 minutes before her attack. And nothing else after that. That's right. Harriet, potassium cyanide, a trace, not a dangerous amount. Taken at the last moment. That means that, that, that Conchita Yopis poisoned herself. And now, here is an important message. And now back to Contest in Danger, tonight's thrilling Clyde Beatty drama. As soon as the circus doctor identified the poison as potassium cyanide, it became clear to me that it was self-administered by Conchita Yopis. I cautioned Harriet to say nothing at the Café Caliente, but alone later in our room at the Hotel Principal. Clyde, I think we should have said something. After all, if she poisoned herself, she must have done it because... Because she was the one who loosened the elephant howdah. Yes. She had opportunity enough to do it. She was always around anime before the act. Sure. Well, then, Clyde, it seems plain enough. Oh, Conchita loosened the howdah, all right. Well, then... She loosened the howdah, then took the trace of poison in order to make herself seem a victim and avoid suspicion that way. Or maybe she did it because she didn't want to be in the cage when the howdah tipped and threw the tiger. But why did she loosen the howdah at all, Clyde? The answer may have been in front of our eyes tonight, Harriet. You mean Felipe Rodriguez, don't you? He and Conchita seem to get acquainted pretty fast. They did. Well, I've got an idea that Rodriguez is pretty much of a tin god around these parts. Maybe he doesn't want anybody else to cut in. If he had happened to know Conchita before tonight, he might have talked her into trying to jinx our show. That's why he accepted his challenge to visit his fighting bull ranch tomorrow morning. <laughs> Invitation, honey, not challenge. But, yeah, yeah, that's why. He may have something up his sleeve. If so, we'll find out tomorrow. Welcome to Rancho Gerando, Senor Beatty, Senora. Thanks, Rodriguez. Thank you, Senor. I will take you to greet my mother. It is the custom. And it will employ the time while the vaqueros prepare the horses for our ride out among the fighting bulls. This is a huge place, Senor Rodriguez. Si, sí, si, sí, it is, Senor. This way, por favor. Across the patio to the sitting room of my mother. Okay. The great Ganaderia is a small community, Senor. This ranch house is the heart of the village of Peonis. You saw the church as you arrived? Oh, yes, we yeah. did. Si. Uh, Perdone me, Senor Berry, the door is this one. Oh, oh sure, I'm sorry. In here uh, is the room of my mother. If you will talk with her a moment, please, uh, Curtis. Oh, of course, we'll be glad to. Madre! Madre! Tengo dos amigos americanos conmigo. Bueno, bueno. Felipe. She understands English. Uh, you can speak with her. I will see about the horses. Perdone me. You are North American, eh? Yes, senora. Mm -hmm. My husband and I are from the United States. Then you do not understand my son. He, he is arrogant. Oh, no, we don't think he is. Arrogant. 
Uh, it is the way the matter to all fools. You know what the meaning is? This word matador? Yes, we do. Uh, say. But the word means killer. Uh, true. Killer. My son uh, is a killer. Senor. His, his spirit is born of something very old, senor. You are not Americanos. You will not understand. Oh, but what the soul of my Felipe is born of the motif of the bullfight. There is a dark side of all of us from ancient times to our day. Uh, do not cross my son. Of course not, Signora. He is dangerous. He does not know pity. Signora, you mustn't think that we... Go now. You have heeded the custom that bad you greet his mother. Uh, now, go to join my son. <laughs> Hello, Romero. Felipe is asking me to wait you with the horses. This is to be your mount, Senor Baby. Oh, that's a good-looking horse. The stable of Felipe Rodriguez is, of course, excellent. And this is your mount, Senor. Thank you, Senor Romero. De nada, Senor. Now, Felipe will join us in a moment. And we will ride into the campo among the brave bulls. Well, that's Felipe coming now, isn't it? Ah, si. Sí. With the fifth member of our party. Yeah. Ah, it's Conchita Yoko. So I see. Since you are bringing them together last night, Senora, Senora, they have become good friends. I suppose such things do happen. Maybe they had become good friends in that short time. The five of us, Romero, Rodriguez, Conchita, Harriet, and myself, mounted and rode away from the ranch house. Rodriguez rode exceptionally well. And as far as I could see, Conchita never once took her eyes off him. And soon we rode into organ pipe cactus 20 feet high. We are in the terrain of the bulls now. Is that so? See, si, they roam free here, many. The herds are divided by stone walls in the field. But otherwise they're just loose. See, si, see, si, senora, loose. But the true fighting bulls, the wild bulls? See, si, senorita, oh. the savage bulls maturing in the campo for their death in the arena. But Oh, senorita, they are everywhere. You only cannot see them because the cactus is high. They're, they're right here? <laughs> claro que sí. Oh, senoras, they are huge, murderous animals. You will see. Oh, what is it? They're ahead of us. You can see through the stems of cactus. Bulls. See? See what sort of brothers? Oh, things on the head. No, 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 no. Do not be afraid. Oh. Do not be afraid, senorita. There is no danger. No? No, there is no danger? No, senorita. Then the bulls won't charge, eh? They will not, senor. It is quite safe to ride on. It is as Felipe says. You see, senores, the fighting bull is the most noble of the animals. In the herd, he is peaceful. Only the coward bull charges from the herd. See, si, and the others seeing this turn on the coward and kill him. True. But the bull charges in the bull ring. True. He is then alone. Does the bull always charge when it's alone? Without fear of consequence, senor. Say, uh, we'd better make a detour, hadn't we? There's some sort of a, a canyon right ahead. We can ride to the north along the rim. It will be quite safe, Senor Baby. Whatever you say, Rodriguez. Oh, we'd better string out, hadn't we, along the edge here? Oh, must we ride so close to the edge? The decline into the canyon is not too steep. A good horseman could ride down it. Mm, that may be true, Senor Romero, but, well, I... Hey! I myself, I... Look down there. What do you see, Clyde? Look for yourself. There, in the clearing, past the pinion pine. A bull. By itself. Sort of like loading the gun, isn't it, Rodriguez? I do not understand that, senor. I mean, you said the fighting bull always charges when it's alone. That is so. So having that bull alone in the canyon, then leading us here to the rim, that's like loading the gun, isn't it? Okay, what happens now? Senor, you suggest that Felipe Rodriguez... Yesterday, Conchita Yopas here tried to spoil the first act of our show, then took a small dose of poison, hoping to cover up what she'd done. I know nothing of that. I think you're jealous of the stir our show's making here. I don't think you understand our wild animal work very well. I do not, senor. Well, I don't think I understand yours either, so that's square. But, Rodriguez, I think you put Conchita up to trying to wreck our show. Madre de Dios, hombre, como usted vas a pensar que Felipe... wait. What do you say, senor baby... It is not true. You loosened the elephant, Hather. Uh, si, si. Oh, I did, but oh, that was that was yesterday, senor. What do you mean by that? Well, senor Rodriguez had nothing to do with what I did. Do you hear, senor? It was yesterday. Oh, senor, baby. Yes? 
Perhaps you will forgive me. It, it was I who was jealous, not Senor Rodriguez. Jealous? Oh, see, si. I was here in Mexico with a circus. I was a feminine trainer of wild animals, as you are yourself. Oh, but I, I was not successful. You mean you were jealous of Mrs. Beatty's success? See, si, see, si, I was. Si. Well, why do you tell us this now? Well, because, because since yesterday, I, oh, I, I, I cannot. I, I cannot say it, Senor Betty, but the world, the world has changed. What she meant could be seen in her eyes, and Felipe Rodriguez saw it. He looked at her a minute, then we all wheeled our horses on the canyon rim to ride back to the ranch house. Then suddenly, <laughs> Conchita's horse slipped and plunged over the canyon edge. On her horse somehow. If she had been thrown. But it is a box canyon, Felipe. Now she's trapped with the bull. Then we'd better ride down in and help her. Senor, you would go in there. Why not? But you know nothing of the bull. That's right, but we'd better get started down before the bull charges, Conchita. You stay here, Harry. Yes, sir. And you, Romero, you stay here too. Yes. Senor Betty and I, we shall ride down together. <laughs> You will take a seat, Senor Betty. It is wise to rest after such activity. Oh, that was that was quite a performance you gave, Rodriguez. Ah, he was magnificent. Well, you kept skirting those horns, leading the bull to the other end of the canyon till I could get Conchita out. <laughs> Gracias. To deploy the bull on horse is a Portuguese art, but I have learned it. Oh, you, you have saved me, Senor. No, it was a thing I wished to do, Senorita. Oh, but Senor, you were well oh, I got a call through to the circus lot. Oh, everything all right? Well, one of the men in the trapeze act is sick. We may have to change the order of the performance for the matinee. Uh-huh. I suppose we'd better get back into town and tend to it. Oh, right? yes. Anyhow, there doesn't seem to be a great deal more to do here. Under the circumstances, Miss Yopis, I suppose... Clyde, she's gone. And so's Rodriguez. Uh, but they are not gone far, Senori. Come over here. You can see them through the window. There. They think they are not seen. Oh, Clyde. What I was going to say was, under the circumstances, considering that the Miss Yopis of yesterday seems hardly to exist anymore, I guess we'll just forget what the other Miss Yopis did. Huh? It is surprising, no? Only last night they meet for the first time, and now they are good friends. Well, I suppose that such things do happen. <laughs> We return with a preview of our next adventure after this message. Now we return to the Clyde Beatty Show with a preview of our next adventure that takes place on Africa's fabulous Gold Coast, the Lion of Kintampo. So here you are, Clyde. Yes, Harriet, and I've been right here on the wharf for some time. Why did you dash off and come here? It suddenly struck me that the fire itself might have been a decoy, you know, to distract attention from something else. Oh? So I made a beeline for that crate holding the lion of Quintampo. But everything's all right? So far as I can see. Oh, at last, the signal to hoist the remaining crate on board. Ah, there it goes. Just think, Clyde, in another hour we'll be at sea. Harriet. What? The sling, the sling attached to the crate. Most of the strands have been cut. It's giving way. <laughs> He's loose. The Lion of Kintampo is loose. That is one of the tense moments from our next story, Lion of Kintampo. This story was based on incidents in the life of Clyde Beatty and the Clyde Beatty Circus. The Clyde Beatty Show was produced by Shirley Thomas. Contest in Danger was written by Roy Williams. All names used were fictional, and any resemblance to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. This is a Commodore production. <laughs>